Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toledo, located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2018 Toyota Camry XSE. Now the most notable features on this XSE is a 360 degree backup camera, its panoramic moonroof along with its parking sensors. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just so I get you a much better idea of what's available on this 2018 Toyota Camry XSE. Let's get started. Now taking a look at some of the exterior features that you will see on this XSC, as you can see it has many different options as well as aesthetic looks on it as well. As you can see you have that two-toned um, hood color with your pre-dawn gray along with uh, the uh, black coloration on here as well. And if we take a look just underneath your uh, Toyota emblem you'll see your front facing camera for your 360 degree backup camera along with your parking sensors. And if we take a look just over on the side here, you have your black TRD style 19 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Now you have your down facing camera on both sets of mirrors here for your 360 degree backup camera. You have your foldable mirrors and heated mirrors. And you'll also find your blind spot monitoring indicator. Now with a blind spot monitoring indicator, it'll actually light up just learning if there is another vehicle right beside you. You have your blacked out handles and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is pre-dawn gray. Now as you can see it also has uh, TRD racing development just located on the side skirts as well and if we take a closer look just at the interior here you have that red leather interior seat surface with your power driver seat lumbar support. Over on the left hand side You'll see your automatic headlights as well as your traction control on and off, your view button for your 360 degree backup camera, along with your gas cap release. And on the inside of your driver's side door, you'll see your mirror controls, window locks, power locks, and window controls, both your front and rear windows. As you can see, you have some lighting actually embedded or placed in here as well. And I'll show you in a couple of other uh, places where it's actually been put. As you can see, just on the passenger side dash and on the other side of the handle here as well. Now, taking a look at a couple of the features that you'll see on the steering wheel here, as you can see, it's accented with the red leather interior on your steering wheel as well. And then you'll have TRD stamped down below here as well. Some of the features you'll see on the steering wheel include your scroll function back, your Bluetooth, volume control, your voice recognition, lane departure alert, cruise control, mode select, and your seek function. Now you do have your push button start, so all you have to do is push foot on the brake, hit the push button and it will start up for you automatically. You also have the paddle shifters on here as well. And if we take a look at some of the features you'll see on the multi-informational display, you'll see, just to actually start this up here for you. Now as you can see with the menu when it actually starts up, you have that nice intro piece there. And taking a look, you have your XM satellite radio on here. You have your digital speedometer. And scrolling through here, you have your pre-collision system, as well as your tire pressure monitoring. And then you can also go through and see your driving support, as well as your fuel economy on here. And then on your settings menu, you have your lane departure alert, pre-collision system, blind spot warning on and off, rear cross traffic alert, and a couple of other additional features. Now, if we take a look here, I'm just going to show you what the startup menu looks like when we start it up here again. But as you can see, you also have the JBL sound system in here, along with a couple of other additional features as well. So you have your XM satellite radio, and scrolling through the menu screen here, now when you see the home menu here, it's actually split up into different screens here. So you have your clock, your phone, fuel economy, as well as your audio on here. And then going into the menu screen, you'll see your audio phone apps as well as a couple of other additional features. Now with the apps menu, this is all part of the Entune app suite. So as long as you have the Entune app suite on your phone, you can use so, uh, such apps as the Scout GPS app, which allows you to stream your maps from your phone onto the touch panel display. You can check on local fuel prices or on the latest sports scores. You have the dual zone climate control settings here as well, your USB and auxiliary input with your power outlet. You also have your wireless charging pad on and off, so all you have to do is put, uh, or just uh, turn the power on and then you can just place your phone on top and have it start charging for you. 
have some under uh, the uh, pad storage space matted to an automatic transmission. You have your eco normal and sport mode along with your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger. And if we take a look just at the top here, you're going to see your auto dimming rear view mirror with integrated garage door opener and digital compass. And a couple of the controls you'll see up top here include your SOS Safety Connect. So with the SOS Safety Connect, in the event you're in a collision and you're unable to respond, emergency services will be sent out to you right away. You have your power moonroof controls here as well, so not only do you get to enjoy the view, but your passengers do as well. Now with that 360 degree backup camera, this uh, view button that you see over on the driver's side here, when you actually hit it, it'll actually give you a nice aerial view of the vehicle just showing you if uh, there's any obstructions in the way and if you push this one once more it'll actually give you a much closer up view of the vehicle just to see if there um, is uh, obstructions in the way for yourself and when you're all finished up just hit the view button once more now when you put it into reverse you'll see that you also have that 360 degree view as well but when we put in a drive and we hit that view button you can also keep it on auto for yourself so if you're in a park aid and you need to see exactly how much room is in front of you and uh, the wall or uh, pillar then you can actually use that 360 degree backup camera to your advantage Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate now. Located on your rear bumper, you're going to see your parking sensors just located right across. And as you can see, you have your aftermarket exhaust on the back here as well. Taking a look just underneath the trunk, you'll see your backup camera just underneath your Camry emblem. And one of the nice things with this XSE is it does have that keyless entry system as well as the automatic trunk release. So if we take a look at your key fob, you have your lock, unlock, trunk release, and panic button. So if you hold down the trunk release for approximately two seconds, it'll open up automatically for you. Now, if you want to fold down that 60-40 split rear seat, all you have to do is just pull on one of the two tabs that you see up top here. You have the cargo liner in the back here as well, so if you spill any liquids back here accidentally, it makes things much easier to clean up afterwards just because you can have it removed and cleaned up properly afterwards. Your spare tire as well as your jack and toolkit will be located just underneath the floor. So if you do find yourself in a bit of a pinch, you know exactly where it's located. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comments section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.